Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renny. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate you for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about Neo Financial and opening separate accounts within the bank or the fintech. It's not actually a bank, just so you know, but it is covered by CDIC coverage. Whenever I meet with people and I do one-on-ones with people, I am always telling them that the best way to reach your goal is to have a separate account specifically for your goal. So instead of putting all your money in one account, we're gonna put them in different accounts and we're gonna have a travel fund, we're gonna have an emergency fund, we're gonna have a black tax fund if that's something that is important to you, we're gonna have a car fund, literally any fund that you can think of, we are going to have a separate account for that. So. I'm going to show you how you can actually do that with Neo Financial. And just a note that you can do this with any bank that you want. It doesn't have to be Neo Financial, but I'm going to show you on Neo because this is the bank that I actually don't have multiple accounts on, so I can show you it brand new. If you want to see the other banks that you can open an account with, you can click on this video up here and it will take you to it. And I compared all the different accounts across Canada. And if you open an account with Neo Financial, they will give you $25. So use the link in my description box if you would like to open an account. Now let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to open an account with Neo Financial. Again, use the link in my description to open it and get $25. And then once you have your accounts open, you are going to go on the accounts page. I'm going to be looking at my laptop and I'll show you on the screen so you can see everything that I'm talking about. So I go on my accounts page. There are a bunch of different tabs. And if you go to the explore products section, it shows you that you can open a credit card, a high interest savings account, or even a mortgage. We are going to focus on the high interest savings accounts for this. So here I can see, you can see that it says set goals, track your progress, earn 4% interest with personalized accounts. So all you have to do is click open an account. After you click open an account, you're going to click get started and then you're going to put all your details in. So obviously I'm not gonna show you guys all of my details, but there are a lot of uh, just open and put all of your details there. The great thing about this account is that you can actually open up to 10 different savings accounts and you can name them each based on whatever goal you have. Okay, so let's see, what should we open an account for? Should we open it for travel? gives okay i think we're gonna open a property tax fund and i'm gonna use the house emoji to represent that and the reason i'm opening this is because i don't really like paying property taxes and i want to constantly put money in this account so that when property tax time comes and they send me that bill i know that i already have money in there so that i can just pull from there so we're going to click on that next you click continue then it's gonna ask you if you want to choose a savings goal. So you can click yes or no, not right now. I'm going to click yes because I know that I pay about $2,000 in property taxes a year. But if you do not know exactly what your goal is for the year, you can click not right now. So if I click yes and then I click next, you can say how much you want to save. So again, my property taxes are about $2,100 a year. So I'm gonna put that as my goal amount. And then it asks you, what is your main reason for opening this account? So mine is short-term savings. So I'm going to open that and click that link, but you can also click on general spending or long-term savings. So after that, it asks you for a lot of your details. We're gonna block this out obviously and skip this part. And then you're going to click at the bottom and click I consent to the above. So just click confirm. It's going to run a few checks on you. And actually this is where they choose to approve you or they choose to reject you. One thing to know is that if you open this account and you are on a VPN and it shows that you are not in Canada, they will reject you. So make sure you only open this account if you are in Canada. So that is it. Those are all the steps that you need to open an account. And again, you can open up to 10 accounts. So you can do this process over and over and over until you open 10 accounts for all the different goals that you have. The next thing that I want you to do is that I want you to link an account to your Neo Financial account. So if you have an account with a big bank, let's say you have an account with BMO Bank of Montreal, and that is where all of your payments go into, you are going to link your BMO account to your Neo account. And then you can even go a step further and you can actually automate your transfers where every time you get paid into your BMO account, maybe $50 is taken from your BMO account and paid into your Neo Financial account. 
So that is it. Those are all the steps that you need in order to open a new account with Neo Financial. And now you can start saving for whatever goals that you have and you get 4% interest on all your deposits. If you want me to do this type of video for any other bank like Simply Financial and EQ Bank, because those are the two other banks that I have, you can let me know by leaving a comment down below. And let me know, do you currently have different savings accounts for all of your goals? I would love to know. And if you don't, let me know why you don't, because I'm curious as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that if you open, you use my link so that you can get $25. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.